Have you ever received a really outrageous email from a colleague? According to a recent survey by UK business telecoms provider Forcom, almost half of finance professionals have damaged a business relationship through poor email communication. That's compared to an average of only 24% of employees across other industries. So are accountants really the worst communicators? We don't think so, but there are a few common mistakes that don't help our cause. 1. Finance people rely heavily on email, but sending something in writing loses 90% of non-verbal cues. We might be smiling away as we tap out a message, but the recipient imagines us scowling. The psychologist Daniel Goldman calls this negativity bias, and accountants suffer from this more than most. We need to make an extra effort to make our emails friendly. Or simply pick up the phone. An important message is better delivered more personally. Two, next up, jargon. When people don't share our experience or expertise, technical language can be confusing or even excluding. A report by QuickBooks found that only 40% of business owners claim to be knowledgeable in the areas of accounting and finance. So when talking to non-financial colleagues or clients, adjust what you say to be as clear as you can. Three, Finally, presentations and reports are a vital way we communicate. But as accountants, we can often get a little too wrapped up in the numbers. Really, most people want the meaning behind the numbers. So instead of showing a spreadsheet of the monthly figures, employ simple charts to highlight key points and conclusions. After all, approximately 85% of the information stored in our brains is received visually. In the spirit of good communication, let's have a quick recap of our three tips to help accountants perform better in future surveys. One, use an appropriate method. Email is great for some communication, but for complex, delicate, or time-sensitive matters, pick up the phone. Two, use inclusive language. Avoid technical speak and jargon to be better understood by everyone. Three, use visual charts. Charts and graphs help to communicate key trends and help the audience process financial data more easily. If you're spending more and more time communicating with clients or presenting figures to stakeholders, follow our tips and remember, think one more time before pressing send on that email.